The Gilson Porta screens are rugged, lightweight, portable screen shakers that are designed for efficient particle separation of materials in the 2 inch to number 16 range, but can effectively process materials to number 200. Regular maintenance of the Porta screen is an integral part of a long service life. To access the drive belt of the Porta screen, you need to remove the four covers of the unit the front and rear upper case covers, and the front and rear case covers. First, remove all screen trays and disconnect the unit from its power source. To remove the case covers, you start with the upper case covers by loosening the eight screws. Now, set the upper case covers and screws aside. To remove the front and rear covers, you first lower the unit close to the floor by depressing the foot leveling tabs. This will bring the unit's feet close to level with the main frame. Note the three leg leveling assemblies are attached to the case covers, two to the front case cover and one to the rear case cover. Once you remove the case covers, the unit will stand on its main frame. Caution should be taken when removing the case covers and balancing the unit on the main frame. Also note that the digital timer is attached to the front case cover. Take caution when removing the front case cover as not to stretch the connecting wire between the timer and the unit. Now, remove the six screws of the rear case cover and set the rear case cover and screws aside. Next, remove the six screws of the front case cover and carefully set the case cover close to the unit as not to stretch the digital timer wiring. The unit now should be standing on its main frame. You now have access to the Porta Screen's drive belt for adjustment or replacement. To check the proper tension of the drive belt, you press on the span of the belt. If properly tensioned, the belt should deflect between 11 64th and 3 16th of an inch. Not too firm, not too loose. To adjust the tension on the drive belt, loosen the motor mounting bolts. Now, move the motor up or down until the tension of the drive belt is correct. Then tighten the motor mounting bolts. To replace the drive belt, loosen the motor mounting bolts and move the motor up to loosen the tension on the drive belt. Now, remove the worn drive belt and install the new one. You may need to rotate the drive shaft so the counterweights separate and the belt slide through. With the new belt installed, adjust the tension on the drive belt by moving the motor down until the tension of the drive belt is correct. Then tighten the motor mounting bolts. Now you are ready to return the case covers. To attach the case covers on the Porta screen, assemble in reverse order. Please note that since the unit is sitting on its main frame, you may need to tilt the unit so screw holes align between the frame and the front and rear case covers. A second hand may be needed, or support the main frame with bracing. Loosely screw in each screw until all screws are in place. Then tighten all screws on the front and rear case covers. Next, reattach the upper case covers. For any questions about your Porter screen or for any Gilson product, please contact your Gilson technical support team.